Hey guys, it's a cold winter night and I was thinking about baking some cookies, but I forgot that we had only recently got this mixer and I'm one of those people who, it's funny, I will eat food that I have dropped on the ground, but if it's got like people food germs, like if someone else's fork touches my food, I won't eat it. <laughs> and in this particular case here, the last couple of times that we have bought a stand, bought an, oh my gosh, the last couple of times that we have bought a stand mixer, um, my husband offered to clean it for me first, and he opened up this thing here, well. and I was absolutely horrified because it was full of old dough and splatters of things and small colonies of tiny creatures and it was really horrendous so anytime that we buy a secondhand kitchen appliance my poor husband gets the uh, dubious honor of taking the whole thing apart and making sure that it is uncontaminated and apparently our little guy is going to help hey Gabe can you wave to the camera wave handsome boy yeah. so he's going to help so this particular one we've already got the uh the, the dough hooks off. I managed to do that. I'm very helpful. But apparently it's a lot more complex than the last one that we had, which was a sunbeam. Um, maybe Rob can explain why this one is much more complex. Mm -hmm. Some of the machines have a set screw that holds this cross pin in, which holds the head of the unit on, and you just undo Gabe, that, that uh, screw, and then you drive the pin out, and then the whole head unit comes off. But in this case, this one is held in place by these little circlips on the, uh, the shaft inside. Okay. And uh, <laughs> you have to get those off from The cat is photobombing so hard. So they go on the edges of the shaft in here. And they are a real bugger to get off. I'm sure GE was, has a tool for this I was or gonna, something. I was going to say, you're no stranger to that, though. <laughs> anyway, I've already driven that out, so I'm just going to push Mommy, the, uh, the pin out. All right, please, Gabe. Yeah, he got part of the way through disassembling it, and I was like, wait, I should film this, just in case there isn't a video of this. Turns out, and we did a quick look, turns out there aren't any other videos that we could find of people taking these ones apart. We found lots for Sunbeam, we found lots for Mixmaster or whatever else, so but none for pen. General Electric slides out and then the head unit kind of comes off like that. Hopefully this doesn't get flagged as a decapitation video. Dad, why did me, me, me take... Why did you take that apart? Yeah. Okay, I took it apart because there's these screws here, here, and here that I can't get to while it's assembled. I could get these ones out, but that won't take the top off. I need to get these two out as well. So I'm going to start doing that now. I got the love yet. And one. You like that Pickwick screwdriver? Yeah. Mommy likes it too. And I also have kind of ice. What dark color is it? Blue. It's kind of, I wouldn't say it's dark blue. It's more like a... It's translucent it's like blue. It's like a royal blue. Oh, Rhiannon, I either need you to come and be in the video or play quietly, please. Thank you. Only on the table, buddy. Yeah, you know that. I just love being in the picture. I know. <laughs> you just love being in the picture. You're a little, okay, Rhiannon, if you would like to watch, you can stand between Gabe and Dad, okay? Make sure that you're not touching anything or leaning on the table, but you can still watch. It seems pretty dirty. That's oh. what we're doing. We're fixing it. It's dirty. Yeah. And Mommy has a hard time with thinking about any of this stuff. Yeah falling into our food. I can't make cookies that are contaminated. Is that well, that doesn't want to come out of there. That's fine. Well, it's a mixer. It mixes the stuff. Stop Give leaning on the so counter. Get my elbows around with a basket, yeah, guys, Daddy please. needs some space. Pretend that this. Daddy is Tika and she's pinning her ears. Mm -hmm. What do you do if Tika's pinning her ears, Rhiannon? You get the heck away. Yeah. There we go. Pika is one of the horses and she's a little bit aggressive. She hasn't ever tried to kick at us, but if she's pinning her ears, it usually means she's going to chase another horse. And when you're little, like these guys, another horse is more liable to 
run over the kids than uh, than dare face the wrath of Tika. Ironically, Tika is the third smallest horse on the property. She is small but mighty. She's big. She's only a little bit bigger than, than your pony. She's smaller than Skooka. She's big compared to you. She's smaller than Dayton, smaller than Cairo. Mm. Only ones smaller than her are... Uh, oh, actually, I guess Kalimba's smaller than her. Kalimba's literally a baby, so... Yeah. But Raven's well, um, out, grown up. But I think it's yes. a kid. A baby. This definitely yeah. wasn't meant to be serviced. Yeah. This is one of those ones where if it's broken, you're just supposed to go out and fork out another one. couple hundred bucks for one? Yeah. Well, that's us cheating at life, I guess. What are these? These are plastic plugs that cover the screw holes. One thing that's funny is anytime that we buy something new, people always try to sell us the warranty. And Rob just kind of smiles and says, no thanks. And then they, they push harder and he says, dude, I am the warranty. Well, uh, I can't fix it. I don't want it. <laughs> wow. Hey, what are you saying about me and my problems? And he's silent. What a wise man. <laughs> Daddy, you won't bend it. Daddy, you he's not bending it. I am bending oh, my probe a little teasing. bit. But well, that's because it doesn't want to come out. Cool. This wow. really was meant to be a one way operation. From here, it kind of looks like you're lobotomizing a horrified tin man. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because this could be one of the eyeballs yep. coming out, like scared. Just widening in abject horror. Going. Ah! Do you need tweezers? But, um, where's the Rhiannon? Shh. Right, right now. There we go. Well, there's a shadow on this side, which kind of looks like a mouth. Anyway. Wow, they really went through efforts to make sure that this couldn't happen. I have a question. What mm -hmm. if we had put a self-tapping screw in there and then pulled it out that way? That would work. That would ruin the plug, though. Oh. Wouldn't want to do that. Okay, quiet. You guys have to be quiet and sit still, otherwise you're going to have to go and play with your own toys. Instead of watching Daddy. Watch and learn, kids. By the time you're both seven, I expect you both to be able to do this. That's right. <laughs> What? You guys gotta earn your keep. Re and re a kitchen appliance. I I didn't I didn't have kids just so that you know yeah. we could continue to fix stuff. I need a longer screwdriver for these two inner screws. Oh no! These All right. Quite deep. I'll pause while we find tools. Sorry, the grease All right. The so I have found a kit in his catacombs of tools. Currently, he's just washing that because he doesn't want to get grease on his nice fuzzy sweater. I'm going to pause because I'm about to sneeze. All right, now that I've successfully sneezed all over the kitchen appliance, Rob's going to keep cleaning it. And then we're going to see if one of these screws can fit into those, into the second kind of deep screw hole there. All right, so it turns out you need a longer screwdriver to fit in there, and it's extra challenging because they tapered it. It's like they went above and beyond to make sure that nobody except for... I guess them could fix it, or that it's just supposed to go straight to the landfill. So, uh... These ones are different screws, too. These are plastic screws. Wow. The other four mm -hmm. were metal screws. That is not Those cool. plastic? No, they're screws for going into plastic. Oh. That... See, they've got different threads. So it makes tell. me... Because these are fine threaded, mm -hmm. and these are coarse threaded. Oh, and also really there's little bits of plastic on it. So... Oh, wow. <clears throat> I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that these guys aren't, like, super into the whole right-to-repair movement. <laughs> Gabe, off the table. Off the table. Rhiannon, I told you you need to stand. Get off the chair. If you're going to be here, you need to stand, because Gabe is in his chair. Okay? If I've got all the screws, then this should... Well, that's loose. The whole mechanism is loose. Loose, but not quite coming off. Who knows? Maybe they've super glued it. What is this? Uh oh. Okay, Spare here. parts. 
That's one thing that I will say for my husband fixing things. He never has spare washers or spare parts left over. Although, one of these days, next time he makes me mad and he's fixing something, I'm just going to walk by and drop one screw and just leave it on the table and then watch him slowly go mad. <laughs> I can see his forehead twitching right now just thinking about it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a terrible thing to do to somebody? There's easier ways to commit suicide. <laughs> One time I told him that if I was mad at him, I would just hide a pop bottle, or a, sorry, a pop can underneath my seat. And then while I was driving, I would just randomly click it in and out at strained intervals. Because anytime that any of our vehicles make a noise, as we are driving, both of us are trying to diagnose and figure out what it is. So I would just probably click it randomly, you know, both while the idle is, or while the while the vehicle is idling, and maybe occasionally while it's under load, and maybe sometimes like during a transmission shift, and I would just watch him unravel like a like an old wool sweater. <laughs> this thing's really giving it to you, hey? Yeah, I don't really know what's holding the top on right now. I may have saddled him with an impossible task. I wonder, does the emblem come off, and maybe stuff is hidden under there? Sometimes. I heard that if you take the Mercedes-Benz emblem off, somebody punches you. It seemed to twist. Huh. Maybe it's just held in place with years and years of somebody's crust mm, and goo. <clears throat> I don't want to throw on it too hard in case it's just glued on. Yeah. What do you think, Gabe? How do you think it comes apart? Oh, did your little buddy come to help? Be so gentle, Gabe. Gentle. Gentle to your boy. Gentle pets. Remember, we pet from the head towards the tail. Yep, from the head towards the tail. Good boy. This kitten, in fact, both of my kids' cats are so amazing. You would think most cats, they want to stay the heck away from rambunctious little children. And Rhiannon's cat, Aspen, just, you know, sought her out. Like, he knew that he was her cat, and he... He will sleep on her feet almost every night, and she can sit down on the couch, and within seconds, he's in her lap. And even this kitten, like, we do our best to keep Gabe under wraps when he's interacting with him, but sometimes he's a little rougher than he should be, and I thought that perhaps the kitten would learn and, you know, give him a six-foot diameter to stay away, and he doesn't. He just seeks him out. He's like, hello, big human. Play with me. My hair out. Okay, then go take it to the bathroom, please. No, if your hair round is out, I would like you to please go and brush your hair too, please. Go on. I, I already did. I'd like you to brush it again because now your hair is sticking out the back of your head like you're going really fast. Gabe is green for turbo. When Gabe is green, it usually means something terrible has happened in the kitchen. <laughs> I think that there's a screw under this button. <clears throat> Does the button have to come off, or is that impossible? Take the button off. I don't know if that's possible yet. Maybe they've assembled it in such a way that it's designed to be impossible. Sometimes they do that. It's a once together strategy. Mm. It's cruel. Not very good for the environment either. No. Nobody can repair it, and more electronics end up in a landfill. And you know, even even when I take stuff to the dump that I can lift by myself, he comes with me, he volunteers to help, and he spends more time looking through the scrap metal pile than we actually spend unloading stuff, which is fine, though, because last time we were, or I guess a couple yeah, times ago... there's a hidden screw. Ooh, can you show me where? Just so that we can... Right there. ...show the folks at so, home. The mm. button pulled straight up and off. A hidey hole in the hiney. So, like this. Excellent. So how do you get it off? I just pulled up. Pulled firmly. straight up? Okay. And then it unsnapped. Excellent. Unsnapped. I'm not really sure what was retaining it. Friction? Could just be friction. Thoughts and prayers? There's this cross pin here that goes through this. Oh, Gabe, enough. Is Easy. also part of it. And then there's this loose spring that I'm going to Wait, lose. Wait, keep, do not crawl over your kitten, please. Go around, you know better. 
Anyway, the last time we went to the dump, or not the last time, but a couple times ago, Rob found a discarded chainsaw. And what was it? Had someone had like broken the cord a little bit and you just put a new cord on it? Uh, I didn't do anything to it. I plugged it in and it worked. Wow. All I did was I sharpened the chain. Oh. So yeah, there's people who will throw things away. We found a perfectly good bike there one time. In fact, we found a few bikes there. And there was a a saw of some kind that we found. Was it like a bandsaw or something? It was a uh, sliding compound miter. Was that okay? Uh, I haven't fixed it yet. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a... So now, how do I get into the gearbox? It looks surprisingly clean in there. I don't Oopsie. see... you. What just hit me? I don't know. We could rewind and find what out. Was a circlet. <clears throat> so he's just reinstalling the sheet metal screws or, or something because it turns out that they didn't need to come out. Yeah, the metal screws didn't need to come out. They just hold in the mechanism. Oh, okay. It was just the plastic screws that needed to come out. Mm. So we can see the brains of the machine. Brains, that's, but... a, that's one way to put it. This is just a, <laughs> it's basically a fancy drill. But it's a food drill. A food drill. It is a powerful food scrambler. And that I also love Gabe, that. stop. Hands Ooh. off the table, please, buddy. Thank you. I thought you washed your face already. You need to go wash your face. You still have stuff all over it. There's ketchup. Go on, bud. Do a good job, please. Yeah, but you still gotta wash your face, my boy. If anyone has a three-year-old who is not constantly covered in ketchup, let me know your secret. There's days when we don't even have food that has ketchup in it, and somehow he ends up with like ketchup on his forehead, ketchup behind his ears. Some days I think it's blood and I freak out a little bit, but it's usually ketchup. What kind of tool is that? Allen key. Oh. Or a hex wrench, depending on who you ask. Mm. Whoa, what's that? What'd you just do there? Explain. It looks like you just went I fishing. I just took uh, a couple of washers. There's a lock washer and an O-ring that were underneath that bolt. Oh. And you found um, those in the hole here? I found those in there, yeah. Mm, I wonder if that will so then take stuff apart. possible part. that this mechanism will come out. Oh, yeah, I see some space happening. Oh, we may have takeoff. Oh, a thing fell out of the brains. Oh. Looks like a piece of gauze. Oh, a couple things. Uh -oh. Someone's been hiding shell casings in there. Huh, yes. <laughs> this is where we hide our ammunition. It's insulation for the... Uh... Post. Dude, if we had money, we could hide it in there. No one would ever look. Huh? I mean, I, the people on YouTube would because now they know our secret, but... Maybe it's under the circuit board. Is your face clean, Gabe? That's an improvement. Good job. Thank you for washing your face. What's Daddy doing? <laughs> <laughs> right now we're we're unfixing it. I'm gonna find my way into the gearbox. Can you say dismantling? Dismantling. Very good, buddy. Good job. Good job. It's not hard. <laughs> as long as one of us thinks so. Sorry. This whole thing comes out as a unit. Mm. Is it an absolute unit? Yes. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Aren't you so handsome? Another you got nice clean teeth? Let's see those beautiful teeth. Oh wow, so nice. That's a lot of screws. Oh, one well, of those was holding in. Oh. Okay. So Rob just discovered something. What was that? One of those screws was holding the whole I didn't unit think in? That these screws were holding in this plate, but it turns out they are. Ooh. It should let me get to the top of the gearbox, and then hopefully we'll have more answers. Excellent. This is like an enigma. Oops. Wow. So carefully pull the brains out. Can you see the stuff? Wow. Okay, so the entire... Oh, he had...
Yes, Sam did awesome. have to come out to get to the gearbox. My oh my goodness. Here, let me, so let me, take a, let me take a look over top here. I can see that. Z screws here from the underneath that are holding the gearbox halves together. But huh. in order to get that out, the entire mechanism needs to come out of the unit here. Wow. But I don't want to do that if I don't have to. Fair enough. I'm going to see if I can dismantle the planetary gear set from beneath. All right. If it's a planetary gear set, it might just be a worm drive. A worm drive? Yeah. Hmm. I've never had this apart before, so I don't know. Phone battery is going to die, so I'm going to trust that you people watching can in imagine him screwing 